all good Sunday morning to you. This one here, we're on our way about 100 miles down to Astoria, Queens, New York, <clears throat> to pick up the uh, 85 Moto Guzzi Le Mans 1000. It started out as a trade deal with a guy on Marketplace, but uh, he kind of changed his mind on the trade aspect of it. But in my mind, I had already really acquired this thing, so now I gotta go pay for it. Uh, I'll just sell off the motorcycle that I was gonna trade him so that I'm essentially not out any cash. But So we got about 100 miles, two hours or so. Shouldn't be any traffic on any of the bridges or any of that. Um, and I'll get some shots of taking a look at the bike, getting it loaded up, getting it back home, and uh, all that fun stuff. Well, I made it somehow. It was quite an adventure. Um, I didn't film any um, of my interaction with the seller. I was down in Queens, New York, and basically had no choice but to park my truck and trailer illegally on the side of the road in front of an apartment building where there was no, no parking posted. And we did this transaction in the middle of the street. Um, that's just city life. There, he was storing this bike in a lot and... There was nowhere, I couldn't get the truck and trailer into the lot. There was nowhere else to do it. So um, this is a 1985 Moto Guzzi uh, Le Mans 1000. And, um, you know, overall, I ended up buying this anyway. Overall, I was pretty disappointed in this, in the representation of this bike by the seller. We originally had plans to trade I was going to trade my 2004 Yamaha Roadstar Silverado 1700 because this guy wanted a big heavy cruiser and I hardly ever ride that bike anymore. And his asking price of the Moto Guzzi was kind of in line with if I were to sell that Yamaha, I guess what I would ask for it. So to me, it was kind of pretty easy, just swap it and no cash involved and all that. But So we were talking back and forth. Um, pretty much, I guess, the whole week. Um, but then he suddenly said he wasn't interested in trading anymore. And in my mind, I kind of had already already acquired this. So I now had to pay for it. So we had said, you know, he had kind of thrown out a price and um, you know, I went down with cash. But long story short, after taking a look at this and the condition of it, you know, I didn't pay any anywhere near what, we had settled on because, um, in my humble opinion, as somebody with a lot of cars and trucks and bikes, this is not in excellent condition. It's um, a, lot of, a lot of faded, a lot of scratches, a lot of things worn out, um, a lot of rusty fasteners, totally rusted brake rotors, um, despite the seller indicating that he rides this to work a couple times a week. Paint flaking off the valve covers. I mean, none of it's a huge, huge deal, but it's all time consuming and it takes, you know, time isn't free to sit here and mess with this stuff and clean it up and do all this other stuff. So, um, you know, I almost really didn't want, didn't want the thing. It was, it, it it looks neglected. I guess that's the right way to put it. Um, which, you know, has me question the mechanical maintenance of it. Other than getting a, a clean title, um, I have no maintenance records on this. No history, nothing. I don't know anything about it. Um, I know that it starts up pretty easily. seems to run fine. I didn't even test ride it in New York because of the parking, the situation where we were looking at this. And that was... Just, I mean, I rode it up onto the trailer. That was the extent of it. But, um, you know, it needs it needs a bit of, of love, elbow grease, and um, some replacement parts. Definitely, and those brake rotors are totally shot. I mean, I don't know how well the camera is going to pick it up, but they're heavily, heavily rusted. They're horrible. 
Um, some of this stuff needs to be refinished. I just stopped at the auto parts store and found um, black wrinkle paint, high temp. But, you know, I need to get valve cover gaskets and some other gaskets and stuff for this. Do it To do an oil service on a Moto Guzzi, you have to drop the sump because the oil filter is in the sump. So I have to get that gasket as well. These pipes, which I'm assuming are stock, I need to look. That's the other thing. I need to find a bunch of reference photos of this to see what's correct and what's not. I'm assuming those pod filters are not. If anybody is familiar with these at all, um, leave a comment and let me know. I'm suspecting those are not correct, and I hate modified stuff like that, especially if they didn't rejet the carb or do any of this other stuff to go on. But these exhaust pipes, you know, I think need to be painted. If they were originally painted, I'm not sure. But, um, you know, dipstick is loose. Some electrical gremlins, it seems, when it's running. Um, it's barely in the green, charging with lights. Signals don't want to flash unless you goose the throttle. So there might be a stator problem or just a, a weak battery. Though it does start up okay. Um, these Moto Guzzi's have the strangest keys I've ever seen. It's like a soda bottle cap with a key on a pivot. I mean, like, super easy to lose. Um, kind of crazy, but... These are, these are a bit clouded. I don't know. I've got to look around and see if there's solutions to kind of straighten any of this stuff out. But it does start up fairly, fairly easily. And the very little that I did ride it to get it in the shop, it, it seemed to do all right. The signals aren't going to do anything until we, uh, I think we've got, might have a charging system issue or a lazy state or, or something. It's got 25,940 miles. Um, again, seems to run okay, but you know, I've got to get the factory service manual and go through and check valve clearance and all that stuff when I have these these off to be repainted and new gaskets to go in and all that. In fact, I've got to look at some photos. I don't even know if they were supposed to be painted, but um, so that paint comes right off. I, you know, all typical stuff with an older motorcycle, but, I mean, that's hardly hardly excellent condition, hardly. It's like fair to good, I'd say. Um, but these don't really show up that often. And um, I wasn't really in the market for this model or this bike. Um, but the guy had, you know, was soliciting a trade for a cruiser, which kind of sparked the entire thing and really how I got locked into it. I, I, if this was just a cash sale only, I probably would have never even inquired on this because it wasn't wasn't exactly the type of uh, Moto Guzzi I would have kind of sought after. But it'll it'll grow on me. We'll get it all cleaned up and fully serviced, and go through the brakes and um, take care of the cosmetic stuff. Make make sure the electrical is solid. <laughs> And clean it all up. I'll buff out what I can. I already got some marks out of this side with a a real light compound. And replace the crummy fasteners and all that. It's just not what I was anticipating. Towing a trailer down into Queens, New York. You know, two hours each way. Much longer on the way back with insane traffic on... 95 going back to Connecticut, but, um, yeah, that's it. So my second Italian motorcycle, 
The first one is uh, way down there, Ducati ST4. So, always been a Honda person, Yamaha, anything the Japanese. It's the uh, 71 CB 750K1. That's a 76 CB500 twin, and I got plenty of other, others here and, and uh, stored in other buildings and stuff. But, um, yeah, always been interested in the, in the Italian stuff. Never really did, did anything with it till sort of recent. I got the Ducati and then now this, but, uh, so that's it. I'm not going to ride it. I was going to take it on a ride, um. And set up the camera on the helmet, but there's no uh, no tag on this, and I don't want to stick a tag on it. It, it. And with really unknown brakes and unknown mechanical condition and unknown fluid, I don't want to go ripping around anywhere um, and br have a br breakdown and get stuck. Um, as it is, the thing I almost. This thing almost fell over getting it off the trailer, which doesn't typically happen. But um, just the way the the front wheel was sitting in the chalk when I took the straps off, it wanted to go all the way to the left, and I was standing on the right hand side of it. So, if you've ever tried to stop a motorcycle from falling and pull it up, and everything's working against you, but anyway, it didn't fall, um, and I got it off the trailer. But um, yeah, that's it. Um, you know, if you have one of these um, and can give me any any pointers, any forums, any websites, places to read, um, places to get reference photos other than just stuff on Google, um, leave a comment below. But uh, in typical fashion with a new project, I'll spend most of the evening tonight ordering whatever parts and, and gaskets and service items that I think I need and um, get started. But so a little shorter video than I thought, because I'm not going to go for a ride, give you my impressions of the ride, but um, it's also Sunday afternoon and I don't feel like getting stuck. So that's it for now. Um, once I get it registered and, and um, have some confidence in the, breaks and the fresh fresh fluids and stuff in there um i'll go for a nice rip with it and uh, we'll see how it does but uh that's it for now thanks for watching